Alrighty, so I wanted to make a quick PSA about the Tavern Cosmetics because I wasn't exactly sure on it and then I remember seeing a Reddit post about it so I looked into it a little bit and it does seem to be true. So, um, during the Halloween event they are giving out the first ever cosmetic set for the Season 3 Boar Hat Tavern. Uh, there's various different ways that you can get some of the cosmetics. Some of them are from just, you know, random events. Some of them are bingo rewards, dreamland rewards, etc. So you want to make sure that you're doing those as much as possible because um, once we actually go into the uh, Tavern Cosmetics, these are the Season 3 Tavern Cosmetics that I have applied at the moment because obviously I don't have all of the cosmetics unlocked, but I have a couple of them. So some of them are active uh, and I'm actually getting these bonuses. Plus I'm also, you know, you can actually hit these little arrows and you can actually see that I'm getting both bonuses for the old tavern and the new tavern. So you want to try to grab, I guess, as many of the new season three cosmetics as you can. Um, if you've been playing the game for a while, you probably have um, like a, a pretty decent amount of uh, cosmetics for the old tavern. I prefer the old tavern. It just, I, I like it more. It looks a little bit smaller. It's not as like big and hollow in my opinion. But uh, yeah, they've given out tons of sets for the old tavern. So there's a lot of different choices that you can sort of use and select, you know, effects off of and everything like that. But with the new one, obviously this is the first one that they're doing. So you want to make sure that you grab that while you can uh, because you can put all of those cosmetics on and apply them and then you can come back and you can either you know change some of your season one cosmetics and sort of stack them um, so that way you can get whatever you need out of them etc but yeah so um, like obviously this one right here is max daily uh, Vanya ale gain increased by two um, and the one of the season three cosmetics that you have well if it will show it there we go uh, is actually the, the kitchen set is gonna give me one increase so I can stack that one with this one right here and we would get three total per day um, I'm assuming I think I've already done two so just out of curiosity I want to see if I can just apply that really quickly and go ahead and grab them uh, so if I go to the kitchen and I apply the effect on this one and then I walk over here to the thing, I can. I can go ahead and grab the, the, you know, the extra ones that I uh, wasn't going to have regardless. So I can't remember exactly which one I had on before or what it was doing. Um, I'll probably try to just go through my tavern or season one tavern cosmetics and make sure that I've got them all how I want them. So that way they can stack correctly with the uh, season three tavern cosmetics. But basically just wanted to tell you. I, I was thinking about skipping and just not worrying about grabbing them if I didn't have enough, uh, you know, exchange points or whatever the case may be for them. But uh, they seem to be like they're going to actually be able to help. Um, I know they're not like super big like bonuses or anything like that, but they'll stack day to day um, and you'll end up seeing a pretty like significant difference over time if you have them applied. So make sure you grab those. That's pretty much it for me. Don't have anything else to say. That's it. So thanks for watching. Feel free to subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you in the next one.